Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Movie Snobs. Today we explore more of Netflix, see what the realm of home entertainment has to offer, and I tell you my future feature. So over the weekend I took a look at my Netflix page and saw something that looked quite interesting so I gave it a shot. This movie is called Out of the Furnace, directed by Scott Cooper, starring a lot of big ticket actors like Christian Bale, Casey Affleck, and Zoe Zaldana, to name a few. It's a dark movie that explores the themes of family, poverty, and violence. So I know what you're thinking, a movie with this many award-winning actors has to be good, right? Well, wrong, sort of. Generally, when I watch a movie, I have a five minute rule, which basically means if the movie doesn't grab me in the first five minutes, then it's not worth finishing. This movie was the exception to the rule. The first scene of this movie was so powerful and interesting, I was expecting the rest of the movie to be this way. Instead, it dropped the intensity and excitement and just got boring. I think the main problem with this movie was the writing. A lot of stuff happened in the first half of the film that could have been tweaked just a little to make this movie a bit better. So that being said, essentially the movie was about Casey Affleck's character getting mixed up with some wrong people. Makes me want to jump in there with you. See who walks out. I just need the money. And Christian Bale character has to save him. We're gonna get one shot at this guy. You ready for this? I think if the movie focused more on that plot line, it would have been much better. With all that said, I did think the actors did a fantastic job with their roles, especially Casey Affleck. I gave my life for this country! But what's it done for me? Huh? What's it done for me?! So if you want to check out the movie, it's all up to you. Maybe if you're just bored or have nothing else to watch, but I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Another movie I watched recently on Netflix is Your Next, directed by Adam Wingard, starring Sharni Vinson and Nicholas Tucci. Caution, this movie has a lot of gore and blood, so if you're easily grossed out, then you can't say I didn't warn you. So just imagine, a nice Sunday dinner with your parents and your brothers and your sisters, then boom, random people decide they want to attack your home and kill everyone. Imagine the awkwardness, especially if you're just a guest. Well, that's exactly how Sharni Vincent's character feels. In the same day, she meets her boyfriend's family, then she has to fend for her life. Wait a second, doesn't this sound a little familiar? All right, it's pretty much what happens in The Strangers, which came out in 2008. Except the difference is, I actually liked your next. I like the fact that there was just more than blood and guts, and this movie features a very strong female lead, as well as character development, and there might be some plot twists along the way. Speaking of strong female leads, Transformers Age of Extinction has none. But if you're into giant fighting robots and unnecessary explosions, then you'll want to pick up this movie when it comes out on DVD on September 30th. And if you like comedies, be sure to pick up Neighbors. I have a darkness inside of me and you will see it! Dude, we missed the air bag. Which hits shelves on September 23rd. And now for everyone's favorite part of the show, that's right, it's future feature time. This week, I want to highlight a film called Gone Girl, out in theaters October 3rd, starring Ben Affleck, Rosamund Pike, and Neil Patrick Harris. As you, As you all know, know my, my wife, wife, Amy Elliott Dunn, Dunn disappeared, disappeared three, three days, days ago. ago. I had nothing to do with the disappearance of my wife. I have nothing to hide. So, have you seen any good movies lately? Be sure to let us know by hashtagging MovieStops on Twitter at ZTVGoofingOff. See you at the theater.